Listen, this little guy, he's not poisonous. He is green, and his name is Wallace Flying Frog. And he's really tiny, but he's got skin between his toes, you which fly. helps him fly in the air. And the bottom of his toes have little suction cups that allow him to stick to the tree branches really well. That's kind of cool. Now, these animals that I have here, they are also cousins of the frogs. They are amphibians. Amphibians, which is a type of animal that's really slippery and slimy. Kind of like a frog. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I can tell They don't have feathers on their body. They don't have they hair on their yeah. body. There's they nice don't yuck. They don't live in the water like a fish. Yeah. They live on the land. But this yeah. is a salamander. Has anybody ever seen a salamander? A snake. It's not a snake. It's a salamander. It looks like a snake. Yeah. Snakes have really dry skin, and they are reptiles. But a salamander is really slimy, and he's an amphibian. Reagan, yeah, Reagan. Didn't you just catch salamanders by your house? Salamanders like to live under spots. rocks and they like to live where it's cool and wet. Do they bite you? No, they don't bite. But they're kind of slippery, so if you touch one, you might go, ew. Because they're really slippery. I touch. I might go out here this one looks like a snake. It kind of looks like a worm, and I'm probably not going to pronounce it properly, so my apologies. Um, I want to say that you pronounce the name of this animal. His name is Sicilian, and he looks like a worm, but he's an amphibian, and he lives underground, and he's blind. His eyes don't work because he lives in the dark all the time under the ground. Kind of like a worm. Um, there's a song about it that I live under. Yeah. Now this one, I don't know if you've ever seen this kind of guy. He is a newt. A newt. A newt. I've known a newt before. That's an interesting huh? name for an animal. Yeah, and I saw the newt. He's a warty newt, and look at how strange he looks. But he, he looks like a dinosaur. Does he have um, scales on his body like a fish? No, it doesn't. He no. looks like a dinosaur. No, you know what, though? Dinosaur skin is really rough and dry because they are reptiles. But, no, it but he's an amphibian, and his skin is slippery and slimy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I mean the picture. Do you guys want to feel what an? Do you guys want to feel what an amphibian feels like? Yeah. Okay, sit back on your line. <laughs> Everybody, you sit up on your bottoms. This is a cucumber, but oh, I'm going to pretend it's that so this is a little frog who's in my hand. <laughs> and if I was holding him, he'd be really slippery That's and slimy. That's a cucumber. Slimy. That's a cucumber. Now listen, yeah. if I had a real frog in my hand, I would not let you touch the top of him. Because frogs, believe it or not, breathe through their skin. And when you touch the top of their body, you're touching like they're almost like you're touching their mouth. It's not good for them. So if you do touch a toad or a frog, pick them up and hold them underneath, like on their bellies, like hold their bellies instead of hold it, putting your hand on their top. But I will let you take a two finger touch and you can feel, pretend it's a little frog and feel how slimy he is. Because they are amphibians. Isn't that slimy? Does that feel slimy? Feel your fingers too when you're done. I'll give you a little secret. It's just soap. <laughs> so it's just going to make your fingers cleaner. You want to feel how slimy he is? No, thank you. Feel that. So slimy. You don't think so? I think so. Already, and then you put soap on I think so. Look, I got slimy soap on my hands. So that is what an amphibian feels like. Do you want to see what their spawn looks like? Yes. yes. Okay, remember in our book it said that their spawn looks like jelly. Now, if you want to touch this, you can. You don't have to. I'll tell you a little secret. It really is real jelly. 
don't need it. But if you want to touch it, I'll wipe your finger off. Come on, Spawn. Oh, yeah. This Spawn? That's what amphibian Spawn eggs look like. Would you like to do a one finger touch? No? It's okay if you don't. Ooh. It tastes, it don't taste it. Don't taste it. Don't taste it. You want to? You can do a one finger touch. Oh, spawn. That's what the tadpoles grow from. Cool. One finger touch. Ah! No! Reagan, don't eat the spawn. Ew. Would you like to touch? No, thank you. Giselle. Whoa, you're running away from it all. It's like jelly, isn't it? It's actually an egg. Okay. Kind of sticky and gooey. Thank you, boys and girls. That is weird. Does that, do those eggs look like the eggs from a bird? No. No. A bird's egg is hard and crunchy on the outside. And an amphibian or frog's eggs, they are jelly and squishy and mm, they're so different. Yucky. Okay, let me show you, oh, let me show you what's behind me, because I think oh, you're going to like this. Now that you've heard my story, whoo, I'm sitting on it. <laughs> All right, this is what you can do with this fun work. It works <laughs> Let me move everything out of the way. Okay, so I've got these little cards in here, and I've got lots of frogs, and I've got lots of froglets, and I've got lots of tadpoles, and I've got some spawn. And the rocks. Some eggs, yeah. I'm going to leave the rocks in there and pretend that this is my pond. See the water on the bottom, the blue? Okay, so I've got these little cards in here. What does that look like? Eggs. 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 Yeah. What's another word for amphibian eggs? Spawn. Okay, so the frogs lay their spawn in the pond, right? Right into the water. That's where the eggs live. I don't like. Can we play with them? You sure can. Now, what hatches from the spawn? That's not a frog tadpole. yet. Yes, a tadpole. The tadpoles yeah. swim in the water and they use their gills to breathe, right? They can breathe in the water. Do we have gills? No. Can we breathe in the water? No, but the tadpoles can. That's pretty cool. We always have a dinosaur on. Right. Um, do we still have the dino work? Hold on. As the tadpoles start to get bigger and bigger, no. they lose their feathers, right? Their gills. They start to grow back legs and front legs, and their tails get smaller, and their mouths get bigger, and they turn into froglets. And froglets start to jump up onto the land or the rocks to breathe and some of them slip back down but they have lungs like us now so they have to be out of the water to, to breathe then they lose their tail eventually and grow into a full-grown adult frog now the adult frogs can play in the water but they have to live on the land because they don't have their gills anymore right they have to breathe air outside of the water. So well, you guys, like yes, just like us, Fisher. That's they get, they get, like so this is a two-person work, and you guys can play with this at work time. They weren't on no, the pond. We were trying to catch some, but they were not coming out. We just saw early, we just saw buggy and dead fishes. Oh, that's weird. Okay, let me show you one more froggy work, and then I'm going to show you food prep and we're off to work time. Okay, so look at this what frog. Playground. This is an artwork. Now, what I'm going.
going to do, I'm going to hide my work. I already saw it. Okay, so look at this, guys. This is called tracing paper. I saw it and I can see it. Anna, can you sit up so Giselle can see? Everybody scoot back. I'm going to take my tracing paper and I'm going to cover my frog. Do you guys think we're still going to be able to see the frog when I put the paper over it? Yeah. Let me see. Yeah, I can see it. Look. You can see it. I can still see the frog through my paper. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a dark crayon or a dark marker and I picked dark green and I'm going to use my helping hand and I'm going to trace over every line that I have. Fisher set up so Griffin can see. I'm going to trace over every line. I'm not going to miss any. Here's one to make sure I get his front legs and his head what about his nose? and his eye and his nose and his back leg so I traced over all of his lines so I could see him and now I'm going to use my lighter color or my light green Can I color him? and I'm going to color him in if we want to well, you could use the dark one, but you might not see your lines very well anymore if you do that, because it'll all blend together. So you can use your light one and just color them all in, make them look really pretty and green. Yeah, we don't want him to be poisonous, do we? That's the kind of frog we like to touch. Okay, and then when you're done, watch this magic. And you can put your name sticker on this and take this home and surprise your mom and dad. They'll say, whoa, what a great job drawing you did. Tracing is so much fun. Okay? I'm going to that one. Anna, that is right over by the froggy puzzle, okay? I'm going to do a different one. 